Good day everyone. We are here again in our channel, Micro Solutions Urban Gardening, which I renamed into Hardinerong Physics Educator. Being an educator myself, my goal is to be able to share knowledge in education and in productive physics. At the same time, inspire and encourage everyone to find ways, even a very small solution, to address the problem of lack of food in the urban areas. Nutritious food that we can produce on our own, from our very own places. This channel aims to inspire you, provide you some ideas on what to do and how to attain the goals mentioned earlier. About five months ago, I started with this channel and I put up my very first aquaponics system. Right on this place that I put up the setup, I will present to you in this video. First, what are the different designs of aquaponics systems? Aquaponics system designs can be classified into three. The media bed, the design that usually utilizes grow beds of gravel, expanded clay pellets, or hydroton, pebbles, river stones, and the likes. I also have one setup employing this design, which I can present a video presentation also. Aside from these insulin plants, the costus ignaeus, okra or lady's finger, and the peppermint are planted in these grow beds. The deep water culture or DWC, the design that uses big tanks, cramps or pans, and lightweight float or styrofoam rocks. The third design is the NFT or nutrition film technique that uses tubes either circular or rectangular. My system employs the last design mentioned, the NFT. I also use media bed technique for my okra insulin plant and peppermint as I mentioned earlier. Today, I will share to you my NFT design of aquaponics system. This is my former aquaponics system position designed in above our water tank. You can see it was planted with water spinach or kangkong and the lady's finger or okra, showing the water input tubes. At the front of the setup, here shown plants included the peppermint at the second layer of the system. The system showing the middle and the lowest level. The system above the concrete water tank covered with plastic and net as protection from too much sun and rain. The water spinach successfully grow on one of the systems, as well as pet chai, lettuce and mustard on the other part of the system. I was able to harvest at least once a week enough for from these plants, from my systems which the family enjoy dining with. Harvests include lady's finger or okra, eggplant, water spinach, or kangkong. I also harvested peppermint and insulin plant. A separate video was published here in this channel. You may also be interested in viewing that video. Some of these harvests were shared to my neighbors. The peppermint and insulin plant were delivered to a friend who, to, who utilizes them for medicine, food supplement, and tea. The harvest of lettuce was often utilized for salad and in preparing fresh lumpia or spring raw. The excess were packed and refrigerated to lengthen the shelf life. My earlier setup of aquaponics system and the present setup 
you may ask, why did I change my setup? Or in fact, I used the, the same design for the present one. Some of the reasons are, on the old setup, I can practically use on the top and the middle part of the system. The lowest part lack lighting due to the shades created by the top and the middle pipes. In the new setup, nearly all the pipes are exposed to light. The new setup accommodates more pipes than the previous one. The present setup is stronger than the first. I need to make it stronger because typhoons oftentimes visit the country. The small greenhouse also serves as my working area. The surface of the tank can be utilized to accommodate containers for other products. Let me show the location of my system. Aside from its occupying only the space above the concrete water tank, here I am standing on the roof of our house, second floor. The house is located along a busy street. On the other side of the street is a public elementary school. The noise from these vehicles are natural music to our ears. These sounds make us fall asleep, ironically. But this is a city life we have to adapt with. But you may ask, in this location, how will you be able to grow your own food? But if you believe that you can do it, then you can do it. Just the same. That is what I always keep in mind. I can do it on my very own way. With several tutorials available on the web, choose one that will fit to your character and your available space and start now. This is my newly built and assembled aquaponics system. I reused the pipes from my previous system. I renovated this system to accommodate more pipes, which means more plants and the possibility of more harvest. The frames for these pipes are now stronger that it can stand bad weather. In renovating this system, I always keep in mind the micro solutions to food shortage, particularly in the urban areas. With the small area I have, I can produce more in the future. Now you have seen the location of my aquaponics system and the location of my garden that my house is along the roadside where vehicles are passing every now and then and there is a construction beside the house my apologies for the noises and unwanted sounds in spite of these unwanted sounds, I hope that you will continue viewing this video towards the end. In the changes I made to my setup, I need to hire a welder to fabricate the stand and the metal frame for my small greenhouse. The materials used in the construction were angle bar, flat bar, welding machine, welding rods, metal grinder and cutters, measuring tools, metal primer, paint, paint thinner and paint brush. For the aquaponic setup, I reused the pipes I had in my previous setups. Nonetheless, the following are the materials used. 
PVC pipe, 4 inches diameter. Coupling, 4 inches diameter. Reducer, 4 inches by 2 inches. Elbow, 2 inches diameter. T, 2 inches diameter. Sandpaper, PVC glue, white paint, paint brush, and cable tie. The tools I used to build the pipes were saw, the level, file, half round, electric grinder for cutting, electric drill, and hole cutter for making the holes on the pipe. You should have to decide on the size of pot to use before making the holes. Here I'm using the two inches pot. After the stand for the systems were done, the pipes were assembled one by one, taking into consideration the level of the pipes. For the pipes, the flow of water must be followed slightly higher from where the water came from. Recycled rubber can be used to raise one end of the pipes. Considering the four pipes in each section, the outer pipe should be a little higher than the inner succeeding pipe. Connect the pipes with the assembled elbows. The Assembled elbows determine the space between the pipes. Fix the position of the pipes using cable ties. This will secure the pipes in place. Flow of water is affected by the movement of the pipes. Now, how does this system operate? Water is the life of the aquaponics system. The water is moving, carrying the nutrients needed by the plants. In this system, the water is harvested from aquariums with fish. And I am using tilapia for the source of nutrients for the plants. The water harvested should include the nutrients needed by the plants. The water from the aquariums with fish are collected in a separate tank. It is pumped up by a 220 volt AZ water pump. The pump I use automatically power on and off depending on the level of the water in the tank. The water enters the setup through this rubber hose and splits to the left and right part of the system. There is no flow of water this time because the pump is on its off condition. Water level is low. This is the reason why this pipe should be of the same level. So the distribution between the left and the right part will be even. This is at the left side of the setup. Notice the bubble at the middle. At the right side of the setup. Now let's trace the flow of water towards the left side of the system. The water passes through the outermost pipe, then to the assembled elbows, connecting to the second most outer pipe. To facilitate movement gravitationally, the pipe should be a little inclined. It should be a little higher from where the water is coming from. and connecting to the second most outer pipe. The second inner pipe and to the most inner pipe. At the end of the innermost pipe, 
Water flows down to the outermost pipe in the second level. And continue moving until it reaches the end of the innermost pipe. Then to the drain pipe. Now let's take a tour of the flow of water on the right part of the system. The right side of the system contains four pipes and on the first level is planted with water spinach. After flowing through the pipes, at the end of the innermost pipe, it flows down to the lower set of pipes. Starting from the outermost one, then to the other pipes, until the water reaches the innermost one, then to the drain pipe. Before we continue to the drain pipe inside the greenhouse, let me show you how the space below the lower set of pipes is utilized. That on this space, the containers for the duck weeds were positioned. The duck weeds are used for additional food for the tilapia. I will make a separate video on the food I am using to feed the tilapia for this aquaponics system in the soonest time possible. Let's continue with the drain system from the main part of the aquaponics system. The drain pipe brings the water to a container and overflows to a box of gravel where it filtered off some solid materials before returning to the collection tank through a 3 port inch sized pipe. This water collected in the pail is also used to water potted plants, which are also part of the system, but are non-circulating, like the calamansi, pechai, and mustard. Let me focus again the area where the aquaponics system is. The aquaponics system above the concrete water tank has four sections. Presently, the upper part of the system is planted with kangkong. I have harvested many times from this. I always cook garlic stir fried water spinach, which I enjoy a lot. It is also one of the common ingredients in the chicken, pork, fish, or beef stew. With this system, I have now, I can experiment on planting other plants that could possibly grow in aquaponics system. Learn more techniques of growing plants with this system, which I can share with you in the future. While doing these studies, I can grow my vegetables for my needs and for sharing with others as well. Having this system, I can study more about water spinach, lettuce, pet chai, mustard, and others. All of this will be shared to you in the future. If you enjoyed, learned, or find this video interesting, 
and believe that others will also learn from this, don't forget to like and share. And please subscribe to this channel so you will be notified of the future coming videos. Thank you for watching this video. God bless, keep safe, and good luck.